You want me to get on the floor? Life. You know when you're trying to force something into something that doesn't belong? That's how it felt. And it's like every time he's pushing in, I'm pushing back. Like, I'm like, oh, hell no. He's trying to hold me down. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is get off me. I'm like, get off me because I didn't know this is not for me. Like, I'm done. I want no parts. Nothing. day right and i was like so y'all like give me some like youtube ideas or whatever like y'all want to see story times what and somebody has said do the story time of you losing your virginity and somebody's like do the story time of you losing your virginity or whatever i never even planned on doing that story time because it was so like ugh but i'm gonna actually do it it's kind of gonna be like a little mukbang y'all know if y'all know me if y'all follow me on instagram if y'all don't already go follow me it's jayla monet same as my youtube y'all know i eat these every day y'all know these are my bro steak tacos i'm gonna just put y'all on with the green sauce i think this is the guacamole or something i don't know but yeah so fire like these it's like you know like burrito tacos these are just like steak but the burrito tacos have steak in it too but it's more like with a sauce and cheese and all that but yeah this is so fire yeah so if y'all not part of money mob what is y'all doing don't forget to like comment subscribe share some of the notifications a lot and we're gonna get straight into some fun I'm gonna talk with my mouth off. This is so good. So basically, so let me think. This was like in, back in high school, and I'm like a junior in college now. So I'm gonna try to really remember as much as I can, basically. But yeah, I don't know if y'all see my nails. It's SpongeBob. Look, yeah. It's SpongeBob. I got a new tattoo, too, if y'all didn't already see that. But, anyways, that's not the point. We gotta get straight to because I know, like, y'all started hearing me talk. So basically, so I was in high school and I lost my virginity. I was like my junior year or end of sophomore year, but I was like 17 turning 18. And I was always scared to lose it because like, I don't know, like I just thought that shit was going to like hurt and I don't like pain. And my friends, they had lost theirs too. They were just fast. They were just so fast, my friends in high school. So they lost theirs or whatever. And they was like, yeah, like, it don't even hurt or whatever. They was like, yeah, like, it don't even hurt and whatever. And I'm like, oh, really? So, like, I'm scared for nothing. So, basically, so, it was with my boyfriend at the time, yeah. We was together for, like, damn near my whole high school. Like, biggest regret of my life. Oh, shit. Basically, got my life. I was young as hell in a four-year relationship. Like, what was I thinking? Yeah, it looked like I got on um, like highlight makeup or something. I don't even got on no makeup. This is just my natural face, off the wake up or whatever. So basically, yeah, biggest mistake of my life. Like, we don't even talk no more, and I was just young. Like, it was no reason I was in a four-year relationship. So fast forward. So my birthday was coming up, right? And I was thinking, like, y'all know that song? It's like, birthday sex. Y'all know that song? So, yeah. It's that song. And I was just thinking, like, oh, like, I want to have birthday sex. Like, I told him that. But kind of, like, playing, but not really playing. It's, like, one of them situations, like, where you saying something just to see what they got to say, but you don't really mean it. Like, I don't know. But it was like that. And he was already with it all, because he was a virgin, too. And he had been wanted to just do it. Because, you know, boys just be so damn horny. So, he had been wanted to do it. It was more me not doing it just because the fact, just for the simple fact, like I was just scared or whatever. So I was just trying to, like, like I was not having none of that. Like, all we would do was kiss, basically. Like, I was so innocent. So basically, he was like, Yeah, like I'm down or whatever. And the crazy part is, when me and first started talking, he told me he wasn't a virgin. And then when I ended up telling him that I'm a virgin, he's like, oh, yeah, I lied. I am a virgin. I just didn't want to seem like I just didn't have no experience. And you had all this experience. Yeah, that should have been the first red flag. Like, why are you lying about, like, what? Like, you should be happy to be a virgin. Yeah, that's besides the point. Like, that was just, like, that threw me off. I'm like, okay, like, what are you lying for? So, 
it was the morning of my birthday i was supposed to be going to school but keep in mind oh my god y'all i'm not a bad child but like i used to be skipping school and stuff i never gave in my parents contact information so when i wasn't there like they had nobody to call and be like oh why is your daughter not here so they my parents would never know and my boyfriend lived down the street y'all down the street and i'm not condoning skipping school don't please go to school because i almost got um what you call it i sort of summer school because of him because i was skipping school with him like it was the worst me and him was just in summer school together just looking stupid like yeah it was the worst and i'm not even stupid like oh my god yeah like it's so embarrassing but yeah so in the morning of my birthday i got up got ready for school as my mom thought so i like i was going to school sure grab my book bag see you later but the way my school's this way his house is this way so i had to walk all the way around the block just so it didn't look suspicious and my mom would see me because she was gonna beat my ass but it's kind of off topic, but she ended up finding out that I wasn't going to school. It ended up cursing me out, but that's another story time. It's the morning of. I got my little book bag or whatever, go to his house and stuff. And we already know, like, what's about to go down. Like, we, we already know. So, yeah, pay close attention, okay, y'all? Who y'all got there and shit? It was just, so when I first got there, we didn't say nothing about it. Like, we just, it was something like we both just know. So he was just chilling at first. Like we was laying down, cuddling, you know, like just kissing and stuff like that. And then, so he's kissing. He's kissing me, trying to put on my pants and stuff. I'm like, wait. And I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, I was scared. Like, I was so scared. So then he ends up pulling on my pants and he's like, oh, you want to do it now? Like, who, at, like, why are you at, like, what? I feel like it's supposed to just happen. You don't ask, do you want to do it now? I was like, I guess. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know what to say. So, I was like, I guess or whatever. So, then, basically, he has, yeah, he has a bunk bed. And he see, like, it's not going to work. And keep in mind, you're going to see in the story, he's heavy. Like, he's not, like, he's kind of, like, fat. I don't think it's fat people, but he's just bigger than me. So, he's kind of, like, big. Like, he's chunky. So... Pulls down my pants, right? Gets on top of me. He gets on top of me. And it's like, you know you're bigger than me. So why are you getting on top of me? Like, it hurt. <laughs> I'm like, what? So yeah, so he got on top of me or whatever. So he's trying to put it in and stuff, right? So he's trying to put it in. Yeah. Yeah. I never felt nothing like that in my life. You know when you're trying to force something into something that doesn't belong? That's how it felt. Like, it was the worst. Like, it hurt so bad. Like, so then you, do, you know what he gonna say? He gonna be like, oh, I think it's because the bed. Let's get on the floor. You want me to get on the floor? Like, no, this is like red flag number four. This is like red flag number four. He wants me to get on the floor with him. But he ended up saying, I'm gonna be on the floor, yeah. Oh, that's why. So he ends up putting like his comforter on the floor, like the cover and stuff. Like he laid it on the floor and shit. Made like a little pallet or whatever. Like we was having a sleepover thing. So he was on the floor or whatever. And then he's still trying and it's still hurting. And it's like every time he's pushing in, I'm pushing back. Like I'm like, oh hell no. So I'm like, yes, yeah, so every time he's coming forward, I'm pushing back. And then he's trying to hold me down. I'm like, oh yeah, this is get off me. I'm like, get off me because I didn't know this is not for me. Like I'm done. I don't want no parts. Nothing. So yeah, and I'm just like, bro, like it's not going yet. Like, can you stop? Like it hurts. Yeah, I was tearing up. Like, <laughs> like I was tearing up the whole time. Like, I was trying to cover my face so he didn't see that I was crying. But he knew he was hurting me because I told him. And I don't know if it was more from the pressure of it of him trying to push it in or the pressure of him on top of me since he's bigger than me. Well, I know is that shit did not feel good at all, y'all. At all. And I honestly, like you know how they say like when you when you lose your virginity, your cherry pops. I don't think my cherry ever popped like with him. Like I really don't think my cherry ever popped. And yeah, like he was just like a sex fiend. Like boy wants to have sex ten times a day, and I just didn't like having sex with him after that. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons we broke up. Cause I guess he felt like I wasn't attracted to him because I didn't want to have sex. But I had a first bad experience. Like yeah, so for me losing my virginity to him, the relationship just went downhill from there. Like. 
But yeah, it was so much in like, bro, mom hate, not she ain't hate me, but she didn't want him having company in the house and he definitely couldn't come to my house. So one day I was there and then she knew I lived down the street. So she went and told my mother and it was over from there. And like, I was like, yeah, like we're done. Like, but like, why is your mother doing all that? Like the shit I go through, it's beyond me. But yeah, y'all, yeah, so pain level, 11 out of 10. It does hurt, but I feel like everybody has a different pain tolerance. But honestly, I regret it. I should have, I feel like I should have waited, not until marriage, but waited to like, it was somebody, I don't know, I feel like I loved him, but I was young in high school. I feel like maybe I didn't even, maybe I didn't even know what love was. I don't know, but I just regret him as a body. Like, I honestly don't even count him, to be honest. Like, I really don't, like, is it, I probably sound like I'm not shit. But I just don't count him as a body. I don't count him as an ex. Nothing. I feel like stuff you did in high school just don't count. I feel like now that I'm in college, all this shit counts. So this I'm actually building like genuine connections, real relationships and shit. And I actually like know myself better and stuff. But yeah, if y'all young, wait. Don't rush into having sex. It's not all that. Like it's really not all that. Like I feel like it's really gassed. And yeah, I'm not gonna get too much into it. But yeah, kids, don't be grown. Don't be out here just trying to have sex. Boys, girls, keep your panties on. And boys, don't take off their panties, period. And that's it, y'all. That was, it was a pretty quick story time because I want to finish eating. But yeah, this time, I'm a little quick story time. But yeah, a little update. Me and a boy, we don't talk at all now. He has this crazy ex girlfriend who always talking about me. This girl's obsessed with me, y'all. Bro. This girl's not go. We have a confession page on my school, Willie P confession page. And then she was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I have this sex tape on Jayla, blah, 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 blah. And keep in mind, I never made a sex tape in my life. So it's like, she's trying to ruin my, what's the word? She's trying to ruin my present. No, it's not present. Ruin my, bro, what's the word? Oh, she's trying to ruin my reputation and shit in the school. Cause you know, everybody fucked with me. So yeah, like it's like you're doing too much. And then my lash tech, cause my friend do my lashes. She's like, yeah, you know this girl. She came here and talking about you. Yeah, a girl is obsessed with me. I mean, I would be obsessed with me too, but shit, like this girl is really obsessed with me. Like, probably never had a conversation with me in her life. And then I guess somebody was making fake pages, texting her and shit. She's gonna text me and be like, I know this is you, girl. I do not need to make no fake page. If I want to hit you up, I have a main page for a reason, respectfully. And respectfully, I'm too busy getting money to be making fake pages about, like, what? About a boy I don't even care about. This is back in high school. But, yeah, y'all, this is just stuff I go through. Like, my life is, has so much drama in it, y'all. If y'all want more story times, let me know. Because, like, I really be going through it. Like, shit is ridiculous. Like, it's starting to really get out of hand. But, yeah, a whole lot of different story times. Time I got caught sneaking out. I could give you time I almost fought everybody in the room. Time I had my first girlfriend. Like, <laughs> yeah, my life is really crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications, all that, and we out.